On the first day of Christmas, Bexter gave to you peacock comfortably. Okay, how do we peacock comfortably? Well, it's a bit of an oxymoron, to be honest. It's a bit of an untruth, and here's why. First, you need to jump outside your comfort zone to peacock effectively. You'll get used to it very quickly, and then you can even add more peacocking exaggeration to your display, to your outfit, to your persona. And I'll give you an example. Mystery in Vegas, last war, leather trousers, big new rock platform boots with patterns on them, a material top with a bit of material here so people can touch it, a big white top hat, sometimes it's a black top hat, and a long white fur coat. But it's not really fur, it's unreal. And when we walk through the casinos and we're in the clubs, people gravitate to it. Men and women. Women run and hug and rub and want photos and want to get to know what's going on and are really interested in how someone can be so exaggerated with their peacock and yet it looks cool, it looks awesome. Remember, when peacocking, it's cool to be surrounded by people as well, but not ultimately necessary if you're getting into conversation straight away. Also, the idea of peacocking, as you know, is so people come over and ask you why you're wearing it. But normally, mystery would get shrieks of enjoyment from girls running across the casino floor to hug and rub his coat and hug him. So peacock is very effective. So get out there, get some peacocking gear. And also mystery would paint his nails. He'd get girls to do that in field. He gets eyeliner on. I've used many of these traits as well and they're awesome for peacocking. So even if you're getting one interesting thing that she can talk to you about, you should go and do that. And don't go and buy the normal jewelry. Buy something that stands out and you have a good story behind it. The story makes the item. So enjoy your peacocking. Become one with your peacocking. You don't have to do it every night, but you'll see the difference of doing it and not doing it. And you can also build up an avatar around it so you can remove the ego of yourself until you get used to it. Soon, the peacocking will be in your comfort zone. So don't worry. And here's what the Urban Dictionary says about peacocking ostentatious dress or behavior employed by a man in an attempt to impress women. An ostentatious dress or behavior employed by a man to attempt to impress a woman. So hopefully that works, eh? <laughs> Here's another example of peacocking. What does peacocking mean? Peacocking in short means showing off. In the bird world male peacocks display their exotic feathers to attract a mate. So the human version of this would be a show off. There you go, there's another one. You've got to get your foot in the door and peacocking helps you do that, especially if you've got AA, approach anxiety. You're scared, you feel the fear. By peacocking, it actually draws people into your life and takes a lot of the work away from you. So peacock if you are still nervous. It will really bring you out yourself, one, because you're dressing differently and people are gonna start treating you differently because they're gonna be interested in you. You're gonna get a lot more attention brought upon you and that's what you want if you're gonna get good at this. There's no point crawling or waiting at home for your inner game setting. Go out and outer game is peacocking. On the second day of Christmas, your wingman should give to you two turtle doves, a two set. So now what you should do, go out with your wingman and both throw a two set on each other so that you can get used to that. Your wingman should be always bigging you up, socially proving you, DHV in you, demonstration of higher value. So take turns opening up two sets each, the group of two people that means, and get busy that way. Get social that way by throwing the sets onto each other. Don't open it and keep it for yourself. Throw it on your wingmen. See how that goes. You'll be very interested on how that works. It actually builds attraction a lot better if someone or people are put onto someone else. You'll see. So what you need to do is build some attraction and some rapport before you hand over to your wingmen to control the set for a while. You can go off and come back later. 
On the third day of Christmas, my wingman gave to me three French hens. So that's the free set. You should be going out talking to now free sets. But this could also be mixed sets. What does that mean? It means there are men and women in the set. Get used to it. And remember, when opening up a free set that has males in it, look at the males and then address all the group e equally because what will happen if you don't address the males, the women will have disrespect for you and the men will try to blow you out and amog you out of your interaction in that group. So please address them first and then open the group up with your opener or whatever your starting piece is. And now you can see we're getting a pattern. So the first day of Christmas is peacocking. Second is the two set. Third is the free set, possibly mixed. Now you're getting a good night of what you're doing. You're going out peacocking, then you're opening two set, then you're trying a free set, which it could be mixed, I hope it is. And you're really getting your game off to the start of the night. When opening up the two set and the free set, remember, this is the first level of game. So I want you practicing that. Hello and welcome to the fourth day of Christmas game. I'm Bexter and the fourth day of Christmas is four calling birds. But guess what? There's going to be no birds to call if you don't go out and actively get numbers. So a good way that I get people to ask for numbers is I say, are you WhatsApp friendly? Don't say, can I have your number or give me your number. You just say, and leave it open-ended. Are you WhatsApp friendly? They normally agree and or can put their own statement in like, no, but I'm Instagram friendly. Or no, I don't have WhatsApp, but here's my number. But normally everyone has WhatsApp. And if you don't have it, download it. It's free and it's very powerful to use when out and socializing because you can do so much with WhatsApp. I'm not going to go into the details of it, just get it and find out. So with this closing gambit, are you WhatsApp friendly, people are more likely to give you a number because it's a lot more indirect and social way of doing it than asking for a direct number. That's too much to put on someone at the beginning. And again, you can say, are you Instagram friendly? You can say, are you Facebook friendly? But what I like to do is do a double opt-in. So I might be talking for five to 10 minutes and then I'll say, are you Instagram friendly? Because it's the lowest form of communication between you both and people want more Instagram friends. And then I don't run away because that looks weird. What I do is I stick around and start chatting and maybe half an hour later, I'll say, how rude of me. Are you WhatsApp friendly? Now I know you better. It's a really powerful sentence. How rude of me. Are you WhatsApp friendly? Now I know you better. And now you've got the double opt-in. She's gave you Instagram and she's gave you her WhatsApp number, which is normally her number. And you have two forms of communication. And if people are likely to double opt-in, that means they're interested in you. And this also is great for networking. Okay, look out for day five of the 12 days of Christmas game by Bexter. So on the fifth day of Christmas, Bexter gave to you five lock-in props. Okay, five lock-in props. Lock-in props, what are they? Okay, they're a way to make sure that the people you're socializing with don't run away too quickly. And it shows a lot of trust to give an item of yours to someone and trust that they don't run away with it. Unfortunately, people do sometimes run away with your lock-in props, but that's just how it goes. Don't be putting some sort of designer scarf on them, for example, and then they run away. You can get cheaper stuff to do until you get really more comfortable in your game and know that people won't run away from it. So, one of the lock-in props is a necklace. You can take a necklace off and put it on someone and say, look after this, I want this back at the end. Normally, because you're wearing a peacocking necklace, like I have a whistle that I wear. I'm not going to go into all the gambits of my whistle, which has a crystal on it, um, just because it's a very long routine. But you can see that in the product, so it's not a problem. But there's a whole routine story gambit behind it. Actually, there's a few that work spectacularly well with my peacocking outfit. Remember, peacocking is the first day of Christmas. The next lock-in prop 
will be, and this one Mystery uses to amazing effect, and I also use it when I remember to use it. Sometimes you forget these things because there's so many. So one is tying, having a loosened uh, arm bracelet that someone needs to tie. You can put it out and say, oh, could you tie it up for me, please? And they tie it up and they locked in now. You don't necessarily have to put it on them. This is one that you can't lose. All they're doing is tying it up. While they're tying it up, you have a few minutes to convey your personality to someone that you're interested in. The next, of course, is the hat. Remember, if it's a top hat, it's peacocking again. There are other types of peacocking hats, but really, that's the best one, in my opinion. It's just awesome. And you can do magic with hats as well. And with a top hat, they're massive. So remember, first day of Christmas, peacocking. So you can take the top hat off, and put it on them and say, look after that. I want that back by the end of the night. And you can pretend to move it round on them or just put it all over for a joke. Okay, next is rings. Rings are important, very important. So what you can do with rings is you can take off one. You can get them for like a dollar each, I guess, if you were order online on Amazon and you put one on. You can say, this was a family heirloom. I want this back. Say it tongue in cheek, you know, and then lock them in with it and maybe you can do something spectacular with rings, which I can, but not for this video. You can also, with the rings, lead on to the gambits and the routines of palm reading. I'm sure you know that. If not, it's in the product. Scarves are brilliant. You can do 101 things with a scarf. I think it's in my top two things that I want to bring out with me on a night out. Real good. You can lock in like this. And lastly, something I've been using the whole 23 years of my gaming, soon to be more, this is 2019, remember, if you're taking notes. Bexter's Magic Fortune Telling Fish is an amazing locking prop, and at the end, they get to keep the fish. They've had their fortune told, and it's very intimate and fun. So what is a six day of Christmas game? It's six geese are laying. So basically, last night's successes should assist you in tonight's success. So when you go out with the WhatsApp friendly clothes that you heard before and a double opt-in, you should be getting an average of three to six numbers a night. So six is a good amount. It means your sets are going long enough and you're sticking in there and you're doing quality socializing and game. What I want you to do is invite last night's successes out, the friends you've made, the people you've chatted to, the people that you swap details with. Invite them out and you now have your wing women to go out with and have fun. Trust me, very powerful and very powerful and effective, especially if you're peacocking from day one, remember, have people around you. It's better to have social proof, and that's women. So six geese are laying. They're coming out from the night before. As many that turn up. And welcome to the seventh day of Christmas game, which is seven swans are swimming. What does that mean? Well, I'm gonna equate that to merging when you merge, you can open a four set and merge them into a three set or a three set into a four set. Now you're surrounded by seven cool people. It might be some of them mixed sets, but now you're the entertainment. You're the man in the room. They're gonna notice you. Merging is very powerful. It makes you look like the main person in the club. Mystery and I use that to full effect when out in a nightclub or bar. Basically, you have to be that main energy of the room, and that's how you're noticed. You'll know that, for example, if a load of football players come into a bar, they're making lots of noise, they're the main energy of the room. If a load of attractive women come into a club and bar dressed attractively, then they're gonna be noticed. If you're the guy lording it up and bringing people together in a club, and being very confident about it and competent, then you're gonna be the energy in the room. And that's what I want you to be. I want you to be the social energy in the room. 
So merge people together. So basically, you can say, hey, come on, let's go and meet some new people with the first group. Or you can say, come and meet my friends and introduce them to people you've already met. So there you go, merging. Welcome to the eighth day of Christmas with Bexter. So this is what it says, the eight maids of milking. This refers to the eight beauties. The way I'm going to refer to it is now you can play the next level of game, which is last month's or week's successes comes out in this month with you. Now you should have eight people coming out with you, having fun, and because you're the life and the soul of the party, they want to hang out with you. Also, what we're going to do, this ties in nicely to the ninth day of Christmas. So we're nearly at the 12th day, we're on day nine. Nine ladies dancing. This is the house party. Every time in your interactions, you want to mention that you're going to have a house party soon or a housewarming party or something or other like a barbecue. As Mystery says, at the end of the month, you can have a big barbecue and you can have the nine ladies dancing there. And of course, invite a few guys too, otherwise it's going to look ridiculous. But what you're doing is every week now, now you've got your social circle working from the eighth day that we talked about. You can have amazing parties every week and people will start coming to them and know of them and you can start really, really building your social circle to very high levels. Clubs will let you have tables, free drinks and even pay you if you go in with a really cool social circle. But remember to have the pre-party and the after-party at your place or someone who's got a really cool place. So nine girls are dancing, ninth day of Christmas. I hope you enjoyed that. Look out for the 10th. 10 lords are leaping, it says. Well, that means that you should now have some really cool wingmen. They might be darted around the globe, like ours are. We have our Volve Elite Coaching Program, which you can see details below. But you might just be doing your social circle in your city or your town. But have your wingmen up to scratch, trained, and that way you can all bring lots of cool people to the party and use each other's places. And all be lords, lord it, lord the bars, lord the clubs, lord your party. Be lords of this. So enjoy, 10 lords are leaping. Get your wingmen together and get on it. Okay, 11's gonna be really exciting. I'll see you there. What do we have in store for you today? Okay, we have, it says, on the 11th day of Christmas, my true love sent to me 11 pipers piping. So what I equate this to is instant value demonstration, IVDs, because back in the day, being able to play with a pipe or a flute would be very powerful. IVD, instant value demonstration, that could be something you're really good at, like, magic, illusion, something to interest and captivate people. It could be you have a few dance moves like my seven set dance moves. Or it could be you can sing. You can sing these 12 days of Christmas game, for example. You can play the guitar. It should be something that's really going to impress your audience or the people you're interacting with or wherever you are, if you're socialising, you're at a Christmas event, you're at home with a family, something that interests everyone, men and women, all. That's how you get interest. Interest is also attraction. So 12 Pipers Piping, learn some IVDs, they're very powerful, magic illusions, dancing, singing, playing an instrument, okay. Get on one of them, please. It's good for when you're back at your pad as well and you want something to show or you're in a bar. The 12th day of Christmas game. 
12 drummers drumming. What do I mean by that? Well, I mean that now you're drumming to your own beat. You're congruent in your own skill set. You have some structure to what you're doing. You hopefully have some material and you hopefully have a plan. You have the delivery of how to do it. You'll get this through practice. We have three volumes of a massive product, which is around 40 hours plus. Click the links for the detail on the free 45 minute video with Mystery explaining the five levels of game, which includes Mystery 2.0 and a lot of other things that we've been doing over the last 10 years. But remember to put everything into place. Be the leader of your social circle. Twelve drummers drumming, beating to your own drum, being a leader of the pack, leader of men. Eleven pipers piping, IVD, instant value demonstrations to entertain everyone. The tenth day, ten lords are leaping, gather your wingmen and help each other out. Uh, nine ladies dancing, host a party or a barbecue. Eight milds are making, last month's successes will assist you in this month's successes. Seven swans are swimming, merging, merge your sets. You can forwards merge or backwards merge. Be the life of the party. Okay, six geese are laying. Last night's successes assist you in the next night. Do you want to come out tomorrow? Five lock-in props, <laughs> five lock-in props. Okay, we know what they are. I've noted them, scarf, rings, necklaces. Four calling birds. Make sure you've got people to call. You're getting numbers, WhatsApp friendly, double opt-in, Instagram. Three French hens, the free set, free set of people. It could be a mixed group, men and women, doesn't matter. Two turtle doves, two set, very easy. Level one of game, that is. And number one, peacocking comfortably. Get in the mode of peacocking. Be very interesting. Let people open you. And with that, I'm going out. If you need more information, check out links below, check our lovely product out and you will get everything in great detail, over 40 hours of fun there. Okay, I'm out of here. Get gaming, don't stick around, get out there, game, look at this city, it's a big world out there. Are you scared of beautiful women? Are women not replying to your texts or calling you back? Have you gotten friend zoned again? Are you struggling getting her out on a date? This is Mystery, the world's most famous pickle artist and star of the game. And now, Mystery is back. Let the game begin. And this is Baxter, the most notorious pickup artist on the face of the planet, my wingman. 22 years in the making. Do you know what it feels like when you've got two girls on your arm? It, you feel like a demigod. We have travelled the world together, meeting and attracting beautiful women into our lives and showing people how to do that for themselves. And these weekend training events, or PUA boot camps as we call them, have been filmed and turned into a bundle of videos for you to watch at home. Literally, from the comfort of your couch. And in these videos, we will show you and teach you how to meet and attract beautiful women and how to get them to seduce you. I challenge you to just keep gaming until you get to that point. Imagine flipping the script to get women to pursue you. If you're afraid of approaching women, or coming across as a weirdo, or opening up a conversation with strangers, then this is the package for you. We've compiled a series of boot camps from our touring that will help you get over all these fears and show you a step-by-step -step guide to bring beautiful women in abundance to your lives. Get our world tour video bundle 